A quarter of the estimated 90 million dogs owned in the U.S. were brought from a breeder, according to the American Pet Products Association. Most Americans are likely to look on the Internet for their new dog. We are learning the overwhelming majority of sites advertising purebred puppies for sale are reportedly fake. Don Daler is here to show us how to avoid becoming a victim of a scam. Don, good morning. Good morning. If you're in the market for a new pet, there are dozens, if not hundreds, of colorful professional websites advertising the cutest puppies you could imagine. But if you're not careful, you could join the tens of thousands of people each year whom the Federal Trade Commission says are being ripped off. You're such a handsome boy. When Wayne Werner yeah. and Pamela Lanuzzo You're a good boy. wanted to find a new puppy for their kids, they went looking where most people do. <laughs> I Google searched it and it popped up a whole list. I thought I found a dog. Great Dane New Madison was $800. Got in contact through email, got a response right away, then it moved to text. The Chicago couple sent the money for the blue-eyed Great Dane through Western Union to a company called Walsh Great Danes. They were given a bill of sale and told that Madison would be shipped by air carrier from South Florida. And then... I got a phone call saying the dog was stuck in Savannah, Georgia. I needed to pay an additional $1,500 for this pet carrier safe thing and had to get three vaccinations to be able to travel. That's kind of when I was starting to, my heart just started to sink. We were all excited. We had gotten supplies. And we you were about to get a new member of the family oh, yeah. right there. Yeah. Our yeah. first baby puppy. It's kind of like, you know, that there's no dog. There's no dog. And there is no Walsh Great Danes. Their advertised address in Fort Lauderdale is actually a thrift shop. According to the Federal Trade Commission, Wayne and Pamela are victims of an international scam that affects as many as 37,000 people a year, paying an average $100 to $1,000 for dogs they'll never see. The Better Business Bureau also says at least 80% of websites advertising pets for sale, the vast majority believed to be puppies, are frauds and mostly based in West Africa. One of the red flags also was the guy asking for the more money for the cage was a Virginia number, and he didn't speak very, very good English. Consumer watchdog groups like iPata.org and PetScams.com post fake puppy sale sites every week, but new ones keep coming. Sam Ozzie's is one of them. The site, which is still online as of this morning, claims to sell adorable and affordable Australian shepherds, like 99% potty trained bandit, Luna or Lola for $750. This is Elsa and this is Anna. And a discounted dog should be a warning to consumers, says breeder Jordan Mills. What's involved in, in breeding these dogs? What's not involved? The training, the getting them ready for their new homes, the vet visit to have the vet look them over, the vaccines. <laughs> Mills, who has bred French bulldogs for a decade, sells them for an average of $3,200 through her website which scammers duplicated two years ago to defraud potential buyers. They took my website and they mirrored it completely, but there was no one behind it. People are putting trust in you, a good deal of money, and then they're sitting there waiting for something that doesn't exist. What kind of advice would you give someone who wanted to get a puppy but was afraid that they might be going to a fraudulent website? Go to their home. If you can't visit the person, another great resource is to FaceTime them. You want to be able to talk to this breeder, ask them how they got into breeding, get a real history from them. You're getting one of your new family members. You can also look locally, which is where Pamela and Wayne finally found their beautiful Great Dane, Atticus. He's the love of our life. He loves us as much as we love him. I don't know. I think he's going home with me. Huh? <laughs> that dog. Now, the good news is Wayne and Pamela did not end up losing their $800 because they insured their purchase through Western Union. Now, the Better Business Bureau, though, says use a credit card for any online deposit. And above all else, they say, meet the dog and the breeder in person before buying. Now, my family had this experience. We, my daughter went online, found a puppy. We drove five hours to meet the dog. Ended up being an empty parking lot. <gasps> oh. But I have to say, of course, you can also always go to your local shelter yes. and, uh, and get a rescue. Yes. Yes. Right. That's, that's, what we, that's what we went and did. Yeah. No, favorite son Will is getting a dog this Friday, tomorrow, actually. You would think that that this is a new baby coming oh, into the family. Oh, <laughs> this is ordered for this, this little dog. We're, we're very excited about the new addition. <laughs> well, you're right, getting it at the shelter. That's where you went. Yeah. Yeah. They interview you. You have to pass a test. Mm -hmm. So 
It's yeah. exciting. Yeah. I think any yeah. dog would yeah. want to live in, with Don's family because you have horses. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's it's dog you got a dog yard. Heaven. Yeah. yeah. You're a nice, nice man. Exactly. <laughs> a nice wife. <laughs> Thank you, Don.